Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Rasulillah. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik alayhi. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa qur rabbi rahamhuma kama rabba yani saghira. Sadaqallahu alazim. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik alayhi. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Alhamdulillah, today I would like to share one, you can say life hack, something that is so important in our life. Sometimes we see we are struggling and uh, things are not uh, coming in our way. Especially financially, we struggle all of a sudden, sometimes. So, I would like to share one incident with Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala. Someone came to him and said, he, he complained and said, فَقَالَ إِنِّي أَجِدُ فِي رِزْقِي الدِّيقِ And he said, I find uh, scarcity in my risk, my provision. So, Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu being very knowledgeable and subhanAllah he's got so much experience and knowledge we know from his, his, his uh, life, his biography and uh, his wise sayings and uh, in this incident thing that we can take today inshallah uh, there are many things because it's his statement, we cannot say it's like uh, it's from a direct, some mutawatir aspect. We can, inshallah, it's, it seems very good advice. So, amongst few things, when he asked, do you do this? And he said, no. Then at one point, like negative things, at one point he asked him, do you make dua, regularly make dua for your parents? Or rather, did you stop making dua for your parents? On that note. So he said, La'allaka tarakta dua lil walidain. Have you rather stopped making dua for your parents? And he said, Unfortunately, yes. I'm saying the summary. So he, he said, That's it. When, a, when an individual makes, he stops making dua for the parents. In the Quran, Al Karim, the ayat I recited earlier from Surah Isra, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding the, the crown of the prophethood, we can say, Sayyid al Mursalin, wa kurrabbir hamhuma kama rabbayani sagira. And we find from the top five prophets, Ulul Azam na Rusul, Nuh alayhi islam made dua for his parents. It's mentioned in the Quran. The Khalil of Allah, Ibrahim alayhi salam, he also makes dua and Allah Ta'ala mentions the wordings he used. Rabbi ghfir li wa li walidayya wa li mu'minina yawma yaqumun hisab. Ibrahim, um, that's Ibrahim alayhi salam. Nuh alayhi salam, Rabbi ghfir li wa li walidayya wa li man dakhala bayti. And so on. And these two prophets, there is no other dua for parents from the other prophets. Then we find the third one, which is actually the wordings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaching Rasulullah, the greatest of prophets, what to say for the parents. Allah ta'ala is saying, Wa kul, O my beloved prophet, say, Rabbi raham huma, O Allah have mercy upon my parents. Kama rabbayani sabira, as they looked after me, cared for me when I was very weak and young. So making dua for the parents, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is guiding us. Because in this dunya, through parents, our childhood and, and, and so on, we, they are so much important in our lives. And from, from Quran Hadith, the rights of after Allah ta'ala is always Allah and Rasul, then parents. So Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala said, maybe you have stopped making dua for your parents and because of that, Allah Ta'ala is withholding, is holding back your rizq. The barakah in life, the barakah in rizq. Is, can you see, subhanAllah, if we don't make dua for our parents, it's like this. 
Man lam yashkuri nas, lam yashkuri la. Those who do not are, are not thankful to people, they are not thankful to Allah. And in the Quran, Allah says, you, you do shukr of or thank Allah and your, uh, or, or your parents. So, how do we thank our parents? Easy way is every single day make dua for them. If we fail to make dua for them, subhanAllah, it will have impact in our lives, especially our rizq. And the ulama say, if anybody wants a comfortable life, life full of convenience, ease, and riches and so on, one of the best ways, or the, the more we are good to our parents. Today I don't have time to go in detail what Allah Ta'ala says, how should be our physical behavior and so on. Just a dua part. The more we make dua for the parents, the more we are good to them, the more we give them peace, then in this life Allah Ta'ala give, will give us peace. And on the contrary, if we are uh, giving them hard time, then in this life we'll have to face the consequences. So the dua that we can make for our parents, the three duas mentioned in the Quran, and there's other duas in the hadith, or in any language, you know, we ask Allah, oh Allah, if they are around, make dua for the forgiveness and the long life, healthy life, well-being. And if they've left this world, we make dua for them, the dua that Allah Ta'ala taught Rasulullah Sallallahu Rabbi Raham Huma, Kama Rabba Yani Sabira, Rabbi Ghfirli Wali Wali Daya. And all those dua, Allah Maghfir Huma, Orham Huma, and all those dua that we can say in any language, the more we make dua for them, Allah Ta'ala becomes happy. And that will impact in our sustenance, insha'Allah. We are working so hard to have a comfortable life. And Allah Ta'ala can grant us this easily when we are good to our parents and we make dua for them. And last thing we want is stop making dua for them. And if there were any shortcomings in terms of obedience towards them, if after they've left this world, if we are good to them by making dua for them, inshallah we'll be amongst those who are obedient. May Allah Ta'ala give us tawfiq. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika shadu wa la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tawfiq.